During the event, travelers can utilize recipes that they unlock to create seasonings before adding these seasonings to delicious dishes to obtain fragrant dishes. So, meal, seasoning, fragrant. Invite characters in your serenity pot to try these fragrant dishes out to increase their companionship XP and also receive different reactions. That sounds really boring. When you begin making the seasonings, the needle on the slider will move back and forth from edge to edge. Follow the instructions given on the recipe and click the button on the needle. The button on the needle. As the needle. What button am I pushing? I'm a little confused. I don't see any buttons on that screen. As the needle points to the corresponding ingredient to add them to the pot. Are you buttons? I'm confused. I guess I'll have to see it in action. Are you a needle? I'm so perplexed. The number of click attempts you can make will decrease by one each time the needle reaches both ends or when you make a mistake in adding an ingredient. Add the correct number of ingredients before you use up all your attempts and you will succeed. Or this seasoning making attempt shall be considered a failure. Your instructions are deplorable. Can you like point with arrows next time? The ingredients needed for this recipe can be found in the wild, purchased at general stores or at Boo Boo Pharmacy. Nice language. Unlock a serenity pot, blah, blah, blah. It's not very exciting. Hopefully I don't have to do that. I get points just for trying. Really? I have literally two horse tail? That's embarrassing. Okay, let's. Sh we should not start with a thing I've only got two of. Let's start with something I have a shit ton of and go from there while I figure out what this is. The slightly bitter flavor of the lotus and the cool freshness of the mint. Why are you capitalized? That isn't. I wrapped up in the fragrance of the pine. Yeah, that weirdest shit. Making for a long lasting, finely woven aroma. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, I need to hit that. Oh, I see. God, why is it so far away? My eyes. You want me to look here and then all the way up here? Why can't you put them next to each other? I am baffled. I've got to look ahead. i got to plan ahead. This is too difficult. Great. I only need one, right? I only need one. I, like, do, I don't even get rewards for making these. Okay, mint looking stuff, cinnamon looking stuff, and then your horse tail. Boom, we're done. I suppose it starts easy. Yay, go team. Am I supposed to be making three successful attempts? Do I have to make three successful attempts? Oh, I've still got to put them on dishes, don't I? It doesn't really matter. I do not have any salt, my lady. Hold your horses. Thankfully. We can buy it. From you. You bloody better sell salt. Otherwise I'm going to have some words with you. Yeah. Just, just the one will do, thank you. Okay. Mint, salt, other flower. Mint. Salt, other flower. Oh shit. Probably should read these things because at least that would make this interesting. Oh well. Oopsies. That was atrocious. Oh. Rip. Use seasoning. Cost four of. What? Delicious triple layered consomme. Cook. Okay. Delicious stir fried filet. Do these seasonings just go generically? Times companionship XP increased. I really don't care. Attempt to make recipe one. Th oh, I've got to make them all three times. Well, that's unfortunate. We're just gonna ignore this one here. Which is where are all the good prizes? And actually no, Primer Gems are just making shit three times. 
Okay, well, I don't have the ingredients to do that. We're going to have to go collect some of that shit. Mint cinnamon hostel. Not a very fast reflex of carrots, right? Where are we getting it from? Deco marsh. Wait, what, what, what was the other thing? In patches of sawgrass? Yeah, that doesn't help. Dehua Marsh. Top here somewhere, isn't it? Do you think it's going to be hard to find? Or is it going to be easy? I don't really know how it grows to really know what I'm looking for. Do I, do I just find it on the side of the road? Yo, bruh. You seen some of this horsetail stuff? I don't really know what it looks like. Hi, Seely. Oh, here we go. It's probably this stuff down here. Hi, chest. Yay, since we're here. Alright. Kick. They really don't change up the pattern, do they? They change like where they are, but the order itself doesn't change. Reward prerequisites have been met. Mint pinecone. Lotus thingy. Pinecone. Oh, whoops, idiot. It. We need two more salt. Salt's bad for you in excess, you know? Surely some of these things have salt in them already. So you're already getting your sodium intake. Yo, sell me. Two salt, please. Thanks. What a peach. Alrighty. Mint. Salt. Whatever the freak that is. Than that. Try again. Boom. You're all done. And you. Ah, they're really big on the mint, aren't they? Gotta say, mint is so strong and overpowering. It would not be my preference. Oopsies, we need this. Give me all the things. Okay, just clicking it a bajillion times does not in fact make it go faster. <laughs> What's a pity. Yeah, I don't really need any of those other things. I mean, it would be nice, but I can't be bored. At all. Do we need to actually use them? I suppose I should make those meals. Wait, I don't even get rewards for doing that, right? Recipes, tastes, tests. No, I don't think I even need to bother with that. So, okay. Well, that was. Everything's in place and they've taken the bait. Welcome quicker than I thought. Place. Yes. Satisfaction guaranteed. Now to start reeling them in. The, the, the bait for what, sir? The bait for what? He's freaking me out. He's got some shenanigans going on that I don't know about. Okay. I'll just resume. Dane's thing. You have an unexpected reunion with Dane's life within the chasm. After getting wind of the situation, you believe that this place must be intimately linked to the Abyss Order and thus begin investigating. Yeah, I know. I'm going. Sheesh. Uh, this is probably the easier way. I don't remember how to traverse this place. Am I going down? I don't remember. This place sucks. Yeah, nah, I'm going up, but this is the way I'm going, so that's positive at least, I suppose. Thanks for your pocket grimoire. It must be really tiny if it's a pocket grimoire. Ah. 
kind of loses some of its, you know, awesome, cool mysticism. Being so tiny. Narration. Look, there's a strange energy surrounding the city. We can't go any further. Guess there should be a mechanism or something around here. Right? Traveler, looks like it's time to get into ruin exploring mode. Yeah, Paimon, I'm all out of ruin, ruin exploring mode. I've, I've, I'm kind of done with the chasm. Take your hand and see what I can find. Don't waste your time. Good. Thank you. I appreciate you. What, what did they? Uh -huh. Conria's technology. Abyssal power. Two things I couldn't be more familiar with. <laughs> They're just cheap tricks to me. Fantastic. I'm glad we thought to bring you along. Okay. So the Abyss Order really is trying to hide something here, right? I mean... You can pretty much surmise as much just because it's the Abyss Order and hiding things is what they do. Mm. Dan seems like he really understands what's going on here. Makes one of us. No wonder the Abyss Order doesn't want him around. Was this upside down city built by Conrio? Or the Abyss Order, Conrio? Not necessarily. The closer we draw, the more I am inclined to conclude that these ruins belong to a more ancient civilization still. Is this the first time we've had mention of a, a more ancient civilization? Because uh, as far as I remember, the previous references have always been to Conria. So that's an interesting thought. The Abyss Order simply got to them before anyone else. Even older than Conria? Whoa, Pyron can't even imagine back that far. That said, the architecture here does somewhat resemble that of Conria. At least, it would if it were the other way up. Let's head toward the light over there. Mind your footing on the way ahead. It's a long way down. That's why I brought the glider. It's really not that far. We've been higher. Oh, hi. Oh, cutscene. I was gonna just beat you up. But, you know, whatever. Is this where they're based? Or wait, are they guarding something here? We are likely drawing near to whatever the Abyss Order is trying to hide. Let's take them out first. I'm, I'm glad they just stood here watching us have this conversation. Be still. Mind the daily. You don't mind. Embrace the ice. Oh. You should be able to climb up. The other guy died really easily. Nice. Uh, vines, 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 vines. I was just being amazed by the fact that the other guy died. I didn't even attack him actively. That's fine by me. Give me the loot. Wait, they're quest related. They don't give me any goddamn huh? loot. They're not coming after yeah. us. Are they just trying to scare us off? Huh. These things seem like they're hiding something behind them. Hold on. I think they... Do you think they? Ah, they're coming. Quick, get them. I thought Dane's just sitting on his ass doing nothing and I'm the one doing the killing. It would have been much more effective if they'd actually had Dane helping you in battle. Because it makes absolutely no sense that this competent fighter is just kind of standing on the side and letting you do everything. It doesn't sit right with me. I really kind of feel like he should be participating. Like, make the, the fight harder. You know, if there's two of us involved. It's not very exhilarating. That hill chills, you couldn't see that before. I could. Huh? What's this? So, the Black Serpent Knights have nothing to do with the Abyss Order's secret. Huh. I should have guessed. So we're just beating them up unnecessarily? That feels kind of mean. So, what exactly is going on with these hilly churls? Come on, Paimon. They're exuding purple aura. Churls, the end is nigh. Okay. They have grown old and fearful of the light, even become one with the darkness. 
And yet the curse continues to corrode them. But why would the Black Serpent Knights want to stay here and guard them? Oh yay, more! Uh, let's try to avoid fighting them. Fighting them is meaningless. Hello! It's him! The guy that came out of nowhere and disappeared again! And now they're retreating! Did he just order them to do that? Half dead? Whoa, whoa! What? You recognize him? I'm sorry. I know, I know it's been a few weeks since I, I started this quest, but didn't we already establish the fact that he knew this guy from back in his Camria soldier army days? Why are you sounding shocked? Could it be? If it's as I suspect, then this is a truly tragic state of affairs. Oh, or did we hear his thoughts? Because that's the thing we do in this game. It's she is way for Like seriously, if you have to have me hearing other characters' thoughts, you are a fucking terrible writer. You, like, seriously suck at what you do. That is the weakest form of exposition possible. Can someone please tell the writers let me hear you this? Because so they really need to learn how to write. Dang. You want to know why they were gathered here guarding the hilly churls, don't you? Well, she already asked that, so yes. It's because as far as the Black Serpent Knights are concerned, they're simply doing their duty. But why do they consider their duty to help the Hillichels to their last rites? The one who ordered them to retreat just now. I suddenly recognized him. I knew him as a young man. An elite in the Royal Guard of old. His name is Halfdan. Again, it's a bit disjointed because it's been weeks since I actually started this quest line. But there was no suddenly recognizing him because you, or you recognized him previously. What a misleading statement. So, he's from 500 years ago too? To this day, I still remember the final orders. I, the Twilight Sword, gave to Halfdan on the day of disaster in Kanria. Before I made haste back to the palace. Inform all Black Serpent Knights to protect the people of Kanria at all costs. Ah, uh, and the, um, Hillichels are the people of Kanria, yep, okay. Because we, of course, were royal guards. But this would mean nothing in the events that followed. Royals, gentry, common folk. These identities made no difference. I love how these royal guards are like really awesome and cool from Kanria, and they're now just doing their duty by protecting the Hillichels and following through on the final command given to them by their, their military leader. And we just cut them down for their loot to level up my weapon? Seems a bit wrong, don't you think? Against the might of the gods, the only identity that mattered was being from Kanria. These black serpent knights have lost their intellect. But perhaps, in whatever remains of their minds, they are still protecting the people of Kanria. Which makes it wrong to callously slaughter them for their loot. If you see these ruins as Kanria in the throes of disaster and these hilly churls as the people crying for help, then suddenly I can make sense of what I'm hearing. Their growls are less of a threat and more of a warning. Does Pamon usually sparkle quite so profusely? Then what are they saying? Though it is barely discernible, I can just about make it out. They keep repeating a word from the old language of Kanria. Run. So they're not talking to us, they're telling the Hillichels behind them to escape. Even I have to admit, the fact their will is strong enough to survive 500 years of erosion. It is nothing short of a miracle, born from hopelessness. Oh, so Paimon had them all wrong. As we go and callously slaughter all the Hillichels across the land. It doesn't matter. Even I took them for enemies for a moment. Let's keep heading toward the light at the top. I believe the Black Serpent Knights will no longer try to stop us. Like, doesn't that seem highly incongruous? Having these Serpent Knights now as things I'm not supposed to kill because it's kind of morally wrong. Yet I need to do it for my loot. And now establishing that these Hillichels are somehow Kanrians from back in the day. <sighs> Shh. Um, kind of makes you not want to kill them, like, ethically, but 
we will continue to slaughter hill trolls for the entirety of the game because they're a common enemy, particularly a monster. It just it seems a bit uh, uh, not good. I don't, I don't know how to phrase what I'm trying to say. It feels like they're making us do things from a mechanical purpose, but they're making them morally reprehensible. So you've got to choose between D doing what you think is right in the sense of a game and not leveling your shit up or just ignoring your morals and just leveling shit up like uh, it's sure enough, weird we aren't seeing oh hello serpent knights. Guess that I'm coming guy really I'm coming did recognize Captain Bing, huh? dude um <laughs> I don't really know where <laughs> Oh, you're back on the ground. Ah, I thought I could read some of those things, but apparently not. All yours, should you have any use for them. Thanks. I'm assuming we're not going down, so I guess we're going into this room. This is not going to end well for me. I'm definitely not making that top room. Or maybe with some creative climbing, I will. <laughs> Go to the chamber at the center of the ruined summit. Is that up or down? Is that up or down? Because summits are usually up, but the building's upside down. So am I going down? Okay, no, it says higher 45 meters. I am going up. It's the opposite of what I would have thought. Oh my, that is quite a way down. Oh, there's a thingy back there. Somewhere. I don't really care enough to go find it, I'll be honest with you. Dang, why so quiet? I'm just thinking, nothing more. If you're trying to console me, I can assure you there is no need. <laughs> Fine. Why not? Give me the moolah. Oh, this is not where we go. Where? I think we're going this way. Wait, there's a quest. There's a quest. There's a quest down there. Wait, that's not the one I'm looking at, is it? Yes, it is. That map is hella zoomed out. I don't really know where I'm approaching it from. So it's a bit hard to mark it. It, it could be on either side of it and I'm going to forget. I kind of feel like if I just dropped down, I could find it, but whatever. We're here now. We've climbed. Hey, look! There's no door sealing this room off. Looks like we can finally head to the room in the center. Come on, I know let's why go. Had to get so unbelievably excited about that, but good for you, Paimon. It's like eh, let's just explore for a second. Yeah, the quest literally looks like it's right beneath me. But I don't want to try and figure out the way to climb again. Use the orb of blue depths times nine to open the gate. I don't know what they are. I do not know how I get them. Oh dear. I was very slack on my space bar there. That was almost a travesty. How does it defy gravity like that? Even the water pool is upside down. Oh, wow. This is a pretty amazing place. Dang, do you have any idea at all how it works? The pool must be part of the entire city structure. A relic of this ancient civilization. And more importantly, it is the very thing that is weakening the curse. Here, my whole body feels more at peace than it has in a long time. The effect is stronger here than it was before. And I think it's because that water pool has something akin to a cleansing effect. Cleansing? So that means the water in that pool can wash away the curse for good? No, that would be impossible. How are you so sure? I have lived with this curse for 500 years. And I have been fully conscious the entire time. 
Suffice to say, no one understands the curse like I do. It is a way of branding us at the level of the fate of the world itself. When a god applies a curse, it takes effect at a higher level of reality than the person themselves. Even now, I can feel the curse slowly permeating my entire being, becoming part of me, slowly but surely replacing me. That doesn't sound good. Perhaps it may be possible to suppress the corrosive effect of the curse for a time, but cleansing it entirely, consider it tantamount to burning away an integral part of your body. It is not a process that one could ever hope to survive. Huh? Cleansing the curse cost you your life? Whoa, an irreversible curse. Paimon can't even imagine. That's because you lack creativity. In any case, I can feel that the water's cleansing effect is not nearly potent enough. At most, it might suppress the curse, but a little. Won't that feel good for like a good 10 minutes for you? Perhaps it's the Abyss Order secret. Frankly, I have never seen a device of this design before either. It is not unreasonable to suspect that it could belong to the Abyss Order. But what could they be planning to do here? I don't know that they're really making clunk sounds so much as they're making sliding grating sounds, but whatever. Yes. Oh, that gave Paimon a fright! So, all the doors are open now? Yeah, are they? Hi, Hafton. Uh, Hafton's back again. Hafton, do you have something to say to me? He That'd be left, a no. But he didn't disappear like last time. I mean, it still counts as disappearing, though, doesn't it? He's indicating that we should follow him. Are you coming? This could be a useful lead. He doesn't seem to hold any malice toward us. True. So, uh, we going then? You first, Paimon. The Beautiful and the Damned. Memories of Intervat. That is the first time I've heard of that word. Are we assuming that that is uh, ah. like beneath Tevat, inside Tevat, or is that saying civilization before current Tevat? I guess we'll find out. Or will we? <laughs> 